It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. Yeah, that's trending topics. On V103. Time for the Trending Topics, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. This one just happens to be a Law and Order edition. Columbus Short just can't stay out of, man, listen, he cele- uh, celebrated the 4th of July by getting in trouble with the law for the fourth time in four months. Uh, he was at a popular bar in Dallas for about four hours and was drinking a lot. Eyewitness says Columbus got up and looked like he was about to leave without paying his tab. A security guard started to talk to him. Columbus started screaming, even accused the African-American by, uh, security guard of being racist. That made sense. Uh, we told Columbus... Uh, then the, then the guard fired back. A uh, scuffle between the two ensued. Several off-duty Dallas cops were in the bar, uh, who also work at the bar on the weekends, broke up the fight. And then uh, that's when Columbus got a little bit more upset. And he started st- screaming at the off-duty cops and tried attacking them. As one source at the bar put it, quote, he was like a dog with a bone who wouldn't let it go. The cops didn't do what cops do. They arrested him, but not for assault, for public intoxication. Taken to jail. Sheesh. Again, he's been arrested in a bar fight. Uh, he's been arrested twice for domestic violence. This is not looking good for Columbus Short, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe he really thinks he's a gladiator. <laughs> in any case, this is a really, really, really sad story. You remember that group high five? I like the way you, you know, remember that? The kissing game song? So, singer Russell Neal, high five singer Russell Neal, his wife was killed. Uh, he killed his wife. Uh, he stabbed her multiple times, went to the police station, told the cops his wife was dead in the apartment and he needed a lawyer. Couple has two kids. Law enforcement sources say there were no witnesses to murder, so it appears the children were not in the apartment when their mom was killed. Neil is currently in custody over uh, on a hundred thousand dollars bond. That is just crazy. Uh, Catherine Martinez was a 24-year-old fitness model, also an aspiring boxer who went by the name Brasilia. 40-year-old Russell Neal still in jail. And uh, somebody who might be heading to jail as I wrap up this Law & Order edition of the Trending Topics. Apollo Nida, apparently doing everything he can do to get a lighter prison sentence after pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit fraud last month. Uh, apparently, his legal team has asked an Atlanta judge to lower the classification of his criminal history from Category 5 to Category 4. Doing so would lower the maximum sentence he can receive at his sentencing tomorrow. His lawyers believe the Category 5 classification substantially overstates the seriousness of his criminal history. They also point out that a number of his crimes were minor offenses committed over 10 years ago. Once again, Nida accused of opening fake bank accounts under stolen identities and later funneling stolen U.S. Treasury checks into those accounts. Uh, we'll see what happens. Apparently, getting sentenced tomorrow. Stay tuned for all of that. That's going to do it for the Law & Order edition of the Trending Topics. If you missed any part of this conversation, head on over to v-103.com where you can not only listen to it in its entirety, you can see my please don't nobody arrest me for nothing at all face. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Tell you about a good story and two reasons we should be celebrating today. It all happens next on V103. 